going on guys brian at two indians how you doing hope you're all well um i decided uh spur of the moment to make a video and post a video um kind of as a uh, an apology to you guys for not putting anything up in a while uh but to kind of explain why and i've been thinking about this um today i had the opportunity to uh, meet up with Brandon Picasso, who is a YouTuber. If you don't know who he is, I suggest that you follow him because he makes great content. Um, and it's kind of Indian, Indian related, con Indian motorcycle related content. So um, uh, it's interesting to a lot of you probably, but it's also good content. The guy is a master storyteller and at, um, you know, doing updates and reviews and, and, uh, you know, just ride stuff. Um, but, oh, sorry, I'm getting messages here. But the guy is really good at what he does. And um, I got the opportunity to hang out with him today on a ride. And, you know, there's big backstory behind that, obviously, which you'll learn about soon. But um, the, uh, the thing that we talked about that is something that I wanted to post a video about here on YouTube was about the fact that I haven't put any content out, really. I mean, I think I've posted one video in the last two months, maybe two and a half months, something like that. Um, a lot has been going on, I've been super busy, but honestly, um, I really don't have an excuse. I have a lot of reasons, but I don't have an excuse. And um, there's a difference there, right? Uh, but the reasons are not good reasons uh, in my mind. Because when I examined those, when I talked with Brandon about it today, um, the reasons are kind of hollow and maybe selfish, I don't know. But um, they're worth exploring and digging into on my part. It may not be that interesting to you. But um, it's important because uh, a lot of you guys have invested your time and invested your... Um, in some cases money finances whatever because a lot of you have supported my channel over the years and bought the products that i put on my bike and have just invested yourself in our channel and i feel like i've let some of you down i'm, I'm not taking this from a self-important point of view where i think like you know i'm all that or anything and you rely on me or whatever because let's face it i'm just a guy on youtube and if I'm not putting up videos, you're watching somebody else's videos. But you know, I get messages from you all saying, how are you? Are you okay? You're not posting anything. And I am. But the, one of the reasons I'm not posting is, um, well, let me put it this way. There are, it, we all have all talked about or understood that, that women in today's society, um, rightfully complain that um, they are expected to compare themselves to the images that we see on TV, you know, models, actors, things like that, um, pop stars, you know. Um, and it's, a, in many cases, they're just standards that you can't live up to. And I have to tell you that I am guilty of that as well. Not in the case of women, but in my case, comparing myself to standards that I honestly shouldn't expect to uh, to, to meet, right? Um, you know, I watch YouTube and I follow uh, other creators, but most of them are not in our, our circle of YouTubers that do things like, you know, motorcycle videos. I watch videos uh, by people like Peter McKinnon and Casey Neistat, another guy called This Guy Edits, uh, cinematography videos. And I look at these things and I say to myself, that's what I want to do. I want to be like that. And then when I create my videos, when I go out and I shoot my videos, I tell myself that, that I want to be better at it and I want to do things like they're doing. And when I don't accomplish that goal when I go out and I shoot video and I don't get to the point where I feel like I'm I'm uh, achieving 
the level of quality that I'm trying to, to reach to, to match these other creators, it's just not good enough in my mind. And I realize after talking with Brandon today that I don't have to meet those standards. I just have to meet my standards. And I know you guys love what I do and what I put out. And I appreciate that and it means a lot to me. And I don't have to be Peter McKinnon or Michael Bay or anybody else. And I don't have to do that level of editing and cinematography and things like that. And so, uh, and look at me, I'm chopping my head off here. <laughs> and so I want to tell you guys that I have this epiphany, this realization, and that uh, I'm not going to let it get in the way of my productivity. And it has, it's actually wrecked my productivity because I sit down at the editing, editing station and I start working on something. And to me, it's just not good enough. And I know you guys don't feel that way. I know you guys appreciate what I do. And so I'm making a commitment to you right now, and I'm gonna post this, um, telling you that I'm going to go easier on myself and, and make the content like I have been making in the past and not try to be more than I am and not try to compare myself to something that I you know, maybe I could achieve if I had a crew of 30 people, like some of the people that I follow, but just do Brian and do what Brian does and do what Two Indians does. And hopefully you'll still like it and you'll still continue to watch and follow. Um, I do it because I love it and I have to remind myself of that constantly. I have to tell myself that I'm doing this because I enjoy it. And when I put too much pressure on myself, I stop enjoying it and if I don't enjoy it I'm not gonna do it right and so I have to make it fun again and I have to realize that I'm doing it for the right reasons and so anyway thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it and I appreciate all the support you've given me over the last three and a half years since I started the channel and there's lots to come all right so that's it two Indians I'm out thank you guys so much you really really mean a lot to me and uh, I'm sorry if I've let you down but I'm okay with myself and with moving forward and giving you guys some killer content all right thanks again two Indians I'm out of here <laughs>